the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, August 11th, the morning edition. I'm James Spann. Got a surface front dropping down through here today. Tomorrow, we'll see noticeably lower humidity values. That'll feel pretty good. Check it out this morning. Same setup. We have the heat ridge centered west of the state. Very hot conditions over Texas, Oklahoma, and the adjacent states. A northerly flow aloft here with an eastern trough. And a few storms about in advance of that surface front. That was the radar at the insane hour of 424 this morning. And we had showers and storms over parts of the Birmingham metro. Some uh, heavy storms down in Bibb County, down below Centerville on US 82. Those are moving to the east-southeast. And we think by afternoon, most of those will be down in South Alabama. Starting off today in the 70s, but tomorrow, and especially Thursday morning, we'll see 60s. In fact, early Thursday, we'll see some of the cooler pockets dropping down to about 60 over North Alabama for a little touch of fall. No uh, advisories for Alabama today. We have heat advisories west of the state from near Jackson back down to Austin, Texas. Flash flood watches for parts of New Mexico. Severe weather possibilities today, a marginal severe weather risk, uh, basically from I-20 south uh, for Birmingham South. And like last night, the storms today will pack a punch. But by afternoon, most of them should be across South Alabama. And then tomorrow, that nice continental air mass drops in here. So no rain for the northern half of the state. In fact, really not much rain for the next five days. This is valid through Sunday morning, suggesting not much at all for North Alabama. Better, better totals to the south. And understand, if you got a beach trip coming up, don't worry when you see that. That just means there'll be a passing storm from time to time. I think the Gulf Coast will see about seven to nine hours of sun each day through the weekend. Tropical weather, again, same old song and dance, quiet as a mouse. All right, model fans, here we go. The GFS, the OZ run. This is valid today at 1 o'clock local time. 594 heat west of the state. A nice trough over the eastern U.S., and that surface boundary will be pushing south today. The high should be in the low 90s, we think, in most spots with a mixture of clouds and sunshine. This is the high-res H triple R at 1 o'clock. And this is showing a few showers over North Alabama. But gut feeling here says by then most of the showers and storms should be south of Interstate 20 this afternoon. Tomorrow, beautiful, mostly sunny. High around 90, but with the lower humidity, it's going to feel nice dry as could be and on thursday a dry day the sky sunny we start the day in the mid 60s and again the cooler pockets closer to 60 both the nam and the gfs are printing a high of 89 dew points only in the 50s a very comfortable day for august this is friday moisture begins to move back there could be a shower in a few spots but i think many places will be dry and the weekend on Saturday, we've got the, the blazing 597 heat ring over the four corners in the southwest U.S. Still got broad troughing here, but moisture comes back, so there could be a few scattered afternoon and evening showers and storms on Saturday. And the same thing on Sunday. Pretty typical weather for summer, partly sunny. The high both days around 90. That's where the GFS is now, and that sounds about right. And the same thing on Monday of next week. Partly sunny, maybe a storm in spots with a high around 90. Here's the end of the forecast. I'm sorry, this is uh, Tuesday, a week from today, uh, August 18th. Still the center of the heat is west of the state. And again, for us, no change. We'll go with a persistence forecast. This is the end of the forecast on Thursday, August 20th. Evidence of a little weak upper low just off the mouth of the Mississippi. We've seen that now for a couple of runs with a 594 heat north of the state. And if this is right, the hotter temperatures would be north of here, with pretty typical summer conditions for us. Temperatures coming off the ensembles for the next 15 days. You can see that nice break in the uh, hot weather at the end of this week. Temperatures creep back up toward the mid-90s next week. Again, 62 Thursday morning. Doesn't that sound good? But lows for next week should be around 70. And the anomalies, August 18th through August 24th. Above average, the, the core of that is centered well north of here. A little above average here, but probably not by much. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.